I'm at Chicago, Illinois. Hi VHS, this fall break I'm at a Pacers game. Hey VHS, for my break I didn't really do much. Hey VHS, this is what I've been doing for fall break. Hi y'all, I'm with my friend in New York and I hope y'all had a great fall break. Hello Brownsburg High School, thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Monday, October 24th. I'm Rose Cruzan. And I'm Elena Holtz. And here's what's going on at BHS. Don't forget that tomorrow BHS will be administering the PSAT. All students in grades 9 through 11 will be testing in the morning, and seniors will be out of the building completing a college or career experience day. Here's a look at tomorrow's schedule. Testing will begin at the start of the school day and continue through 11.50 a.m. Period 5 and lunch will be from 11.50 to 1.24. Period 6 is from 1.30 to 2.07. And period 7 will be from 2.13 to 2.50. Anyone who did not receive a pass with the testing location will be testing in their normal first period classroom. Congratulations to the Sound of Brownsburg Marching Band and Guard who finished in 6th place at the Bands of America Super Regional at Lucas Oil Stadium last weekend. The Best Buddies Halloween Party will be this Thursday, October 27th, after school until 4 p.m. The party will take place in Miss Comer's room, A1312. Please contact Miss Comer if you have any questions. The next Speech and Debate Club meeting will be tomorrow, Tuesday, October 25th, in the Media Center. It's also not too late to join. Just stop by Ms. Burnham's room, B2405, for a permission slip. Permission slips and dues need to be turned in ASAP. You can bring them to the meeting on the 25th. Also, make sure to join the Remind group for important updates. See Ms. Burnham for more information. DECA's first ever Ben's Pretzel 3v3 basketball tournament is coming soon. The tournament takes place on Thursday, November 3rd from 6 to 8 p.m. The winner takes home three Ben's Pretzel gift cards, permanent bragging rights, and a six-foot banner with your names on it to be hung up by the cookie room. Each team entry is only $30 and sign-up sheets are set out in every lunch by where slushies and cookies are sold. To be fully signed up, turn in the sheet to either Mr. Barron or Mrs. Sablehouse's classroom with your entry fee. The tournament will fill up quickly, so be sure to turn in your sign-ups ASAP. Before fall break, BHS TV had a special visitor who wanted to learn a little bit more about how we do our newscasts. Check out the video from that day. We got a new student coming in to shadow us today. <laughs> I don't know where to go though. We got a whole crew ready to uh, show you what to do, so let's get to it. Right here? Yeah, can you click too? Okay. Click it? Yeah. And then can you take, take it right here? Take it. Take Yep. And you can see. Mic check for Emma. Hello, Ramsburg High School. Which uh, in one? one. We're good. Uh, three, two, one, go. No. No, no you have, you have to tell him first. What? Stand by. Okay, French club. Yep. Roll it. Twist it this way. Okay. And you read along with him. Stand by. Go. The French club will be meeting this Thursday, September 29th, after school until 345 p.m. <laughs> that means we'll take place in the green one for a four please dress. Slow down, slow down, slow down. How do I look in there? You can see yourself right there. Oh, three, two. The French Club will be meeting this Thursday, September 29th. At the end of the show, it says a fade, and that camera will fade. That's all we've got for today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. I read this off the paper, and that's the teleprompters? No, you read this off the teleprompter, okay, and, and this. this one off the paper. Let's get things started today with the boys soccer team. Oh, weather is fun. Dance group. Yeah. So reset. Whoa, this is really hot. I know. And on Sunday, we have a high of 72 and a low of 50. It will again be partly cloudy with a 15% chance of rain. Do this down. All right. I got to be the new weather guy. This is a class I'd want to be in every day. To be quite honest, it was really hard. I messed it up over and over and over, and so sometimes we take for granted how easy it is, and I'm telling all of you as the students, it is much harder than it looks. Wow, Dr. DeGay really can do it all. That's right. Make sure to tune into it later this school year as Dr. DeGay visits other BHS classes as well. Now it's time for sports. Hey, Annabelle, what do you have for us today? 
Hey guys, even though school has been on break for the last two weeks, most of our fall athletes were still putting in the work and we've got a lot to catch you up on. Let's get things started with some BHS athletics history that was made over fall break by the Unified Flag football team. The Dogs traveled to Grand Park to take on DeKalb in the state finals and won the game 28-18 to become the 2022 IHSAA state champions. The team finished the season with a record of 11-1. The regional and state championship were the first in program history. Thanks to the seniors and their dedication, leadership, and hard work this season. The cross-country teams continued on in the postseason over fall break with a couple of meets. The girls' cross-country team finished their season at the Shelbyville Semi-State on Saturday. Over fall break, the girls picked up a sectional championship and the following weekend came in as runner-up at a very competitive regional. This wraps up a great season in which the team was ranked as high as 10th in the state and laid the groundwork for many big successes moving forward. A special thank you to the 11 seniors for all of their contributions both on and off the course for the past four years. The boys cross country team won sectionals. They finished second at regionals and were eighth at semi-state. They were led by Ian Baker, Shergio Khan, and Brandon Haas. The volleyball team also had some success in the IHSAA's tournament over break. The dogs started off with a 3-0 sweep of Terre Haute North in the sectional semifinals and then repeated that performance with a 3-0 sweep of Avon to become sectional champions for the third consecutive year. The dogs then moved on to regional semifinals where they defeated Cathedral in five sets to advance to the championship. The dogs came up short to Yorktown in the regional final. Congrats on another great season, ladies. And congrats to the girls' soccer team who defeated Mooresville 2-1 to become back-to-back-to-back -back -back sectional champions. The dogs' season came to a close in the regionals, but congrats, ladies, on your sectional three-peat. Here's a look at the football playoff bracket. The dogs will travel to Ben Davis this Friday in the sectional five semifinals. The winner of that game will take on the winner of the Avon versus Pike game. If the dogs win, the next week's game would either be at Avon or home versus Pike. Wrestling open mats this week will be Monday through Thursday after school. The first day of the regular season and tryouts will be Monday, October 31st. All privet paperwork must be completed in order to participate. Please see Coach Snyder with any questions. And the girls basketball team will start their season with a scrimmage against Crispus Attucks this Thursday at home in the Varsity Fieldhouse. Good luck, ladies. That's it for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Annabelle. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we will see you on Wednesday.